Hey everyone, it's Nukin and I'm back with another Galaxy Heroes episode and today we're going to be doing a roster review. So this is the series where I answer questions from my patrons and give answers based specifically based off their current roster situation. So Jade is great dude, doing well in Arena run that Sith Triumvirate Palpatine meta right now. Must be doing something right also in the Sith raid because he has a six star Treya. Fleet Arena rank needs a little bit of improvement. He was one of those players that kind of coasted by in Ships 1.0 and wants to change things up now that Ships 2.0 has been is now here and things have been reworked and stuff. So we're gonna focus a little bit about Ships, a little bit about Territory Wars. In TW, we're gonna talk about the First Order team and basically optimizing the best defensive team. And then also we'll talk about how to beat Darth Treya without using Treya in TW. So kick back, relax, because we're about to to start this roster review. So first off, let's pop the hood and see what we're working with with the ship roster here. So I'm gonna do three sweeps, kind of look at the ship stars, and then also kind of look at the crew member gear and the reinforcement materials as well. So what I'm seeing here is that you're missing some stars on Rex, Poe, Gauntlet, Slave One, and then there are a few ships that you're missing just one star. Ironically, I have a six star Lando's Millennium Falcon, so must have a soft spot for resistance filth there, huh? Uh, let's see, the pilots are, you know, mostly golden and purple, so that's good. No green or blue geared pilots. Definitely want to gear up the pilots, especially if you're using them. And so that's, you know, pilots seem to be in a decent position. Now let's look at the reinforcement materials. So TIE Advance is fully upgraded. You can tell because that's purple. And then anything that's blue means that it was upgraded at least once. Looks like SunFac was fully upgraded as well. And then the rest here are green, I think. Anything else here? And it looks like Landa's Millennium Falcon was also upgraded once, so seems like you have plans for that ship. So now let's move into what I think that you should do to kind of start climbing the fleet arena ranks and then figure out kind of a game plan of what to do. So here is a recommendation that I have for you that you can kind of start using pretty quickly because you have most of these ships ready to go besides, I want to say the Phantom, not completely ready because you definitely want to upgrade the reinforcement material ability up to level three before you start using this ship. When you do that, you can call in another ship back to back it decreases the cooldown of the reinforcement cooldown for the capital ship so then you can get your six star Millennium Falcon I know that's three star but I was just using my ships as an example out quicker and yes it's best to kind of maximize synergy but also it's best to kind of get usage out of a ship before you lose the battle so I put it in the third position put Sunfac in the fourth position all the way on the far right because for some reason the AI likes to really prioritize calling in Sunfac and other tanks you know prematurely before you need to do that and you definitely want Tide Advance to go first so you can really kind of put that offense down on everyone that's re really good reinforcement so this is something that you can kind of start running right away and can start climbing the arena ranks. Now, if you want to kind of run the best two fleets, so I think Chimera is the third best right now. It's definitely the most flexible, but the two best fleets right now are Home One and the Executrix. And since you kind of have a lot of the Empire ships already, I kind of want to say to suggest switching to the Executrix. It won't be too much of a huge change for you to run the Executrix. And also, Lando's Millennium Falcon works with pretty much any other ship anyways, and you kind of had plans for it. And Sunfac works with Executrix as well, even if it's not in the starting rotation. So, if you're gonna run this ship, I would at least do victory at all costs here. This is the crew member ability, and also it kind of relates to stretching your ship roster out in 
territory wars, you definitely want to have a few of these crew member <laughs> abilities upgraded on more than just the one ship that you're running in Fleet Arena. So regardless if you switch to Executrix or not, upgrading that one will help you in territory wars, spreading yourself out. So consider, you know, running the Chimera, climbing the arena ranks, I should say the fleet arena ranks, and then potentially switching to the Executrix, unless you really want to, you know, build some sort of home one rebel or Geonosian squad, then that would be my recommendation is to go with the Executrix. Now let's kind of talk a little bit more about Territory Wars, but the character side of TW. So now we're going to talk about teams that you can use to take down Darth Treya teams. So first off, there are a few different teams. And yeah, I know there's no Darth Treya. I will showcase some Treya footage in just a second, but you can use Nets with a Rex lead or a Zeta Finn lead and take down some Darth Treya teams. So let's take a look at the resistance lineup real fast. And here is the lineup. So you have characters that can expose on their special under a Zeta Finn lead. And then we're taking out one last resistance character, putting in Ness. Ness actually also exposes on her basic, but she will not be going very often. She'll basically go once in the beginning. You want to speed her up real fast. She'll remove everyone's turn meter on an AoE attack at the very beginning. And then that will basically allow your Poe to go and then he'll reduce some turn meter as well and start the exposed train and we all kind of know how that goes you just take a billion turns and you can take out the enemy from there as long as you're carefully kind of managing and not wasting the exposed target so that's great Ness works under the Rex lead and also Zeta Finn lead to take out some Dark Treya teams another team this is probably my favorite one seems to be the most consistent and less mod dependent out of both other options. Rex still requires some decent mods and the resistance team requires some decent mods, a little bit less decent, but this team doesn't really require that many mods at all. In fact, on my personal account, I think the average speed of my entire team is in the low 70s, so not too bad at all. So basically, I think this is also, I just wanna say, random side tangent, this might be the toughest arena squad to date right now. We're running the Sith Triumvirate with a Dark Trail lead with a Sith Trooper and Nest. Nest also works with the Sith Triumvirate. And this team is deadly as well because, well, any Nest that can go first and cause your team to go first is deadly. And so that's what's difficult. And ironically, this team was originally designed to only really handle a weaker variant of this team. And with Ness making this team even stronger, the Thrawn Magma team prevails. So very good news. This is a great team. It's pretty consistent, not, not heavily mod dependent. And this is a team that can take out the Dark Treya teams fairly consistently. So, and I would mod, by the way, I would mod Magma Trooper to have a potency cross here. It's very important that he's reducing the turn meter on his AOE special. And if you wanna have some cherry on top mods, I'd give him just a bunch of tenacity mods as well. Just make sure you're using a potency primary cross. You could Zeta Death Trooper to basically make this team even more consistent, but that's not necessary. And Short Trooper is very important because he tanks the Isolate. So if your Magma Trooper gets isolated, it's game over. So this is another team that you can use to basically take down Dartrea teams. So without using Dartrea, those are some options. Definitely recommend this one. This one's my favorite. Last topic we're gonna to cover in this roster review is Jade's question about First Order and the best TW defensive team for the First Order faction. So this is Jade's First Order faction right here. Three gear 12, 
few gear 11, one gear 10, and a gear 7 SF TIE fighter pilot. So first off, let's talk about Zetas briefly and see who you'll want to kind of Zeta. So first off, you definitely want to start off doing the leadership on Kylo Ren on mass. So you definitely want to do the leadership Zeta. That's definitely a requirement. There is another Zeta on the unique called Scar that'll make the team a little bit tougher but not a whole lot definitely not required it's kind of like the cherry on top for the team now the old kyla has the outrage zeta and then the first order stormtrooper also has a zeta so there are a decent amount of zetas floating around but really with the leadership zeta and stormtrooper zeta you're pretty good because most of the time the old kylo is just doing his other special anyway and so the protection recovery doesn't really come into play until the very end of the match but by that time you know it's not going to really matter if it's just down to Kylo. The team is going to fall on defense anyway. So the full lineup looks like this Fox first order officer, both Kyle's and the Stormtrooper. Now, if you want to know how to mod them with a Sith raid focus, I have done a video on that. And if you want to know how to mod them for TW, I would speed up first order officer and the og kylo ren and then give crit damage for fox for kylo ren unmasked and first order stormtrooper i like to go with speed sets for them in tw and if you want to know any sort of extra sort of details just get with me in our next coaching session because that is about all the time we have for today's roster review now hopefully everyone out there enjoyed this video and got some value out of it and not just jade jade hopefully enjoyed this roster review can't wait to hear what you have to say about it and let's follow up after you watch this so i'll see you guys all in my next video cheers and take care guys the force will be with you always